Warning, if you're sensitive to blood or graphic content, this video ain't for you. Okay y'all, so I really like extractions. I like watching things being extracted from people's skin. I think it's a stress reliever, it's very satisfying, it puts me in zen mode. So one day I was watching a Dr. Pimple Popper extraction video on Facebook at work. Chrissy gave me a little tidbit about Devin Lytle. Ladylike member Devin Lytle has four cysts in her scalp. What a lovely surprise. So she was like, you guys should do a video. I'm like, I don't know if Devin would do it. She was like, ask her. And I'm like, I mean, it would be a dream come true. I'm a little nervous about doing this shoot just because it's like, people are gonna see my cysts on camera. If the frame can be about like how we don't have to be perfect and there's always gonna be like, everyone has their weird skin issues. You know, like in Sex in the City where Samantha has to help Carrie pull out her diaphragm. <laughs> If you guys yes. have to help me pull out my pilar cyst. So you would like all of us to be in the room? Yeah. Okay. I mean, like womanhood. I mean, like, I'm down. I mean, you are, of yeah. course. I know you, you're fine with that. <laughs> Devin revealed to me that she would participate and do it, but she would only do it if all of Ladylike was there in the room with her for emotional support. Hmm, what a conundrum. Chantel doesn't want to watch that. I don't want to do this video at all. If Chris is not doing it, I'm not doing Christian, it. Christian, everyone oh. came to your oh. wedding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, coming to my wedding is not the same thing as my going to getting your cyst lance. <laughs> I've had many assists in my life I just, and it's been removed, but I don't feel the need to watch it or interact with it. Cause I don't, I just don't want to. I don't. <laughs> so everyone eventually agreed to go. However, Kristen was unable to go because she was recovering from surgery. So it was just the four of us going and you don't understand how excited I was. I ended up having a phone call with Rachel, who's Dr. Lee's assistant. We scheduled everything out and then we went to her office. It's Monday morning, like eight o'clock in the morning, and I dragged the girls to my pimple popper appointment in Upland, California. Upland, California is like 40 minutes outside of Los Angeles. So we all had to get up early to get to this appointment. I'm sure they love me. We're about to go in for Devin's procedure. I don't know how long I'm gonna last. I'm just a squeamish person. It's not that cysts and anything are gross. I had a cyst here and I've had lipomas and I get sebaceous cysts on my eyes all the time. I'm not good with blood and I hope I don't faint. I don't think I will. I've only fainted a couple times in my life. Hopefully this isn't gonna be one of them. Are you ready for this? It's <laughs> happening. Hi Dr. Lee. Hi, how are you? I'm Devin. Thanks for coming out here. Thank you for handling my cyst. Of course. Of course. Hi, my name is Dr. Sandra Lee. I'm a board certified dermatologist in Southern California, but people also know me as Dr. Pimple Popper. What does Dr. Pimple Popper mean? It just means that people know that they come from wide and far for me to pop their pimples, essentially. I'm gonna be working with Ladylike, and I'm going to be doing a procedure on Devin. So I have four pilar cysts. I call them my unicorn horns. I know what they are because I've been dealing with them for like most of my adult life. What's your definition of a pilar cyst? Well, a pilar cyst is a type of cyst that usually occurs on the scalp about 90% mm -hmm. of the time. It's something that often people, when they get, they get more than one. And so what happens is essentially, I try to explain it to people as it as like a part of your skin kind of gets trapped under there okay. and forms a little like balloon under the skin. So what happens is that, you know, our skin sheds normally, but now it's shedding into this little balloon under ah. the skin. There's nowhere for it to go, so it grows. I knew that people would be really interested in the things that we do in dermatology. It's a very visual field. So, you know, everything we see on the skin and I thought it'd be really interesting and educating for people to learn a lot about what I do and why I love it. When I posted a blackhead extraction in particular, I noticed a jump in attention. And through all that, I discovered that there is a community of people and people were loving these videos and sharing with each other. It's not anything that should make you feel bad about yourself. So I think it's really nice that you brought your girlfriends to give you support and hold your yes. hand. First off, I really wanted to meet you because I am a Aww. popaholic. Aww. I do watch a lot of popping videos. I find them massively cathartic. But also I wanted to do this because just to highlight that, you know, the human body is complex and amazing and also like, there's nothing to be ashamed about, especially if you have a cyst, because you can't control it. And you know, I'm really about woman empowerment as well, and one thing that I will say about my channel, which I find so remarkable, especially in this day and time, is that nobody ever questions me. I've never seen anybody ever say, 
Why is she doing this when she's a woman? Dr. Lee was amazing. She was so chill, she was so nice, very into the whole idea of female empowerment and making sure that we got across the message that this isn't gross, this is natural. These are our bodies and you shouldn't be ashamed of it. I think I'm gonna be checking in on Chantel mostly. Yes, I think I will be too. Another piece of this Ladylike video is we have a little challenge, a little uh -huh. bet, is to see how long Chantel can stay looking at the procedure. I'm guessing 15 seconds. I give it five seconds. Five seconds. <laughs> the fact that she is feeling nothing, you know, really helps. I'm when ready. I meet my girls, they'll take good care of you. I'm excited. Okay. Let's do this. Let's get the girls out. Okay, with Devin, she's going to come back to one of our surgical suites where we'll get her nice and comfortable. It's like the Big Dipper, like the four, like, um... Oh, I have a little constellation on yes, my head? Yes, you do. We're going to call this the Pilarsis constellation. Oh my god, I love that. I love stars in the moon. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Do you feel a little baby kick? Yes. Wow, I feel it. <laughs> This is my favorite thing. I'm ready. A little crave over there. there. We gotta get our scrubs on so that we can be pretty much sterile and not get any germs into the situation. Also to protect us because it might squirt a little bit. Gotta be in the splash zone. <laughs> Looking good. All of you. Oh yeah. You look taller. See, now we know yes. that how tall you really are. Surgery, but make it fashion. That <laughs> you have to. She ended up naming all four assists after the rest of Ladylike, which was lovely. Chantel, which one are you? I'm gonna be this one, because it's the first one that I felt. So you never forget your first. <laughs> I'm the big boy, so over here. This is gonna be Kristen. And then Freddie's right over here, the little bean. I feel wow. like I'm your husband. Like, <laughs> The first thing I'm gonna do is anesthetize the area. I'm gonna use a little bit of lidocaine, a little numbing. I'm just gonna hold my, my, whoa, 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 wait, wait, stop. Oh, sorry, I did really, oh my God, my foot stuck on the pedal. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a little baby numbing here. Okay, everybody's ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. A little, just a little baby pinch. I didn't feel that at all. Good, you shouldn't feel it. Devin seemed pretty at ease. She had me there, she had Chantel there, and she had Jen there, all for emotional support, so that was great. I know, I would like to point out, Devin is taking my hand to her cheek. I am not, oh, and this one. Great, yeah, we're just here. You did awesome, that was the worst of it. If you can handle that, piece of cake. Okay, cool. Okay, and then we're gonna sterilize the area, and then that's when we'll do the surgery. That's when I'll get sterile. I'll start the excision and the removal, and we'll be talking to her the whole time. If we move more than one, we'll line them up on the tray and so she can take a look and say her goodbyes afterwards. We're gonna cover them up and do one at a time here. We're gonna start with the bigger one. So you make sure I'm never hurting you or anything, okay? I'll scream, a girl, I'll let oh, you Oh, you know. will? Don't scream. Mm -hmm. Poor Chantel, she did her best. She was there in the room, as promised, but she did have to sit down in case she got a little bit woozy from the blood. Feeling okay over there, Chantel? You know, we're just sitting. Yeah, all we're right, hanging. that's fine. Mm -hmm. Just gonna push against you, so just resist me, you get my joke? Resist me. Oh man, I wish I could be watching this right now. Whoa, holy crap. Devin, you're gonna be so excited to watch this later. Yeah, you will be. She's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> she's very, very cute. The fact that I grew these on my own, I'm a little proud of it. I'm like, they're your little diamonds. Devin was unsure of if she was gonna get one cyst removed or all four of the cysts removed. And we were kind of feeling it out as we went. And so they started off with one. And then Dr. Lee was like, do you wanna just keep going? Do you wanna just get them all out while we're here? And Devin was like, sure, why not? Chantel, how you doing? Um, you know, we're watching watching from the wings here. It looks like a little pearl. Really? A little pearl? That's cute. Okay, wow. number two down. Really? Yes. Wow. Fred, how you doing? I am stoked. You're living your best life. Yes, out there. this is really cool. <laughs> Kristen's easy. She's ready to go. She's like, hello world. What if I have no good video ideas after this, guys? I know, you might have peaked here. What if my sis were the were like the source of my power? They're gonna they're, they're the ones that were holding you down. <laughs> they're my dragon eggs. Yeah, they're your dragon eggs, they're Khaleesi. I was filming with the macro lens, the close-up camera, because I insisted, because this is my thing and I'm very into it. It was cool seeing how Dr. Lee sort of navigated the scalp, did the little incision, popped it right out with her thumbs. I mean uh, if it wasn't against safety rules, I would have asked if I could have done one myself. This is the last one. This one is, um... This one's Chantel. me, this one's Chantel. Oh, this one's Chantel? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I should mix them up and you should guess who's who. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's play let's that game afterwards. Can you see it now? Oh, wow. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I did not realize they would be, like, solid. I thought it would just be sort of they're filled like, with pus. That's crazy. No. They're like the... And it's not pus yet, either. Pus is technically, like, a, an infection. And this is just um, wet skin cells stuck oh. under there for however how long she had it. Oh, All right, really? you're done. Really? I'm done? Uh-huh. I can't believe all my sisters are gone. I know, aren't you sad? 
No. no. It, took, it took less than 30 minutes for her to get all four cysts removed, which I was shocked by. I mean, they popped right out. Devin, how was it? It was pretty easy. It was painless, actually. I didn't feel a thing. I'm ready to meet my children. Oh my goodness. This is the internal contents that's squeezed out. You see, that's the actual, oh, so that's, wow. the, that's the skin cells. It looks like a little pill it's pocket. It's like this texture of an olive. Chantal, yes. you love olives. I love olives. Just think of these when <laughs> you no, do olives, yeah. <laughs> that's so cute. That one is exploded. Yeah, that's the one that didn't come out with, that was a stubborn one. This is Jen then. This is Freddy, because it looks like a little pearl. Freddy, yes. Yeah. So you're just using Ooh. all our clues. I felt this one thousands of times oh, before. This is Kristen. Devin, you know your Chantal. sis. I know my sis. She must have been handling them a lot. Oh my god, it slices. And you could squeeze it now. It slices like a piece of chicken. I'm a new woman. I think it really did bring us all together. It, it brought us closer together in a very intimate way. Especially now that there are cysts named after us that came out of Devin's scalp. You know, I feel pretty good. I feel proud of Devin. She did great. I'm glad that she's got a smooth little scalp. It is always nice after the bump is gone to just feel something nice and smooth. You know when you just get off a roller coaster and like you were like a little nervous at first, but then you just feel exhilarated and like you can take over the world? Mm -hmm. That's how I feel now. That was um, yes. so cool. New scout, who dis? Thank you so much, Dr. You're Lee, for everything. You're so welcome, that was awesome. You did, you were a great patient. Yeah? It was a piece of cake, right? Good. Yeah, it was a piece of cake. I like my little bandages yeah. that I have to wear for the rest of the day. But uh, yeah, we're ready to go and attack 2018 with a new scout. Conquer the world. Conquer the world. <laughs> it's the end of the night and my band-aids need to come off because they're driving me nuts. For the record, I think this is a bad idea. For the record, I didn't ask you. See, there's like dried blood. You should leave those on. How do I get them off though? Huh? You wait. Pat may be right about when I should take my band-aids out, like from a medical perspective or whatever, but I know my hair. So Pat's not here and I'm gonna do it. I've already taken out two. <sighs> Fucking, this is the third one. I only have one more. If you have a difficult situation, if you bring humor into it, you um, loosen up. Keeping that in mind, I'm going to just dance around this band-aid with my fingers. Okay, motherfucker. <laughs> yes! Don't ever, ever let a man tell you what to do with your body. Unless he has a m medical degree, because Pat doesn't, and like, what the fuck. Devin was a champ. She was so strong throughout everything. She's really brave for exposing this part of herself. I'm happy that we're able to show that this is not gross. It's a part of life. It's natural. It's a part of the human body. And that women have cysts too. Women have bodily things too. This stuff isn't gross and you shouldn't be ashamed of it. Also, find yourself a bad crew of lady friends who support you through everything, even the grossest. Group date with Dr. Pimple Popper. Lady tested. Lady, lady assisted. Woo! Yeah. Ow, ow. Good job, Deb. Thanks. This is weird. <laughs> Feel I'll show you how I feel. Ah! 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 I can't do it. Ah! We got, got merch. merch. Click here to buy it. Spoon. 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 Spoon.